Oh, hi. So, yeah, before we do the intro thing, um, just wanted to give a heads up. Towards the latter end of this video, there is a special project that I have been working on. It is a fan-based audiobook for Legend of Zelda. I wanted to share the prologue because I know the algorithm doesn't really like showcasing the non-Tumblr things that I do. So, wanted to see if I can get some more eyes on this. And if you want to check out the playlist for it, that'd be awesome. If not, no pressure. Anyway. It's a new cat girl virus is spreading across the nation. If you see any signs of cat-like behavior, please report us to your local doctor immediately. I will, thank you. Wait, did you say nation? I'm so normal about the female characters in Spider-Verse. You don't even know I feel a not more amount of excitement whenever one of them comes on screen. That's a lie. Dear Professor, this assignment did not nourish my fundamentally curious soul, so I did not do it. No penalty, full 100 points, please, goodbye. I have blue hair and pronouns, and I am seeking someone with red hair and pronouns to comedically fight with me for all eternity in a slapstick, silly manner. Can we do this instead? Hey man, I found a piece of your soul stuck in text messages of old friends you don't speak to anymore. You want it back? <laughs> yes, I do. Pokicho, should I break up with my roommate? We're not dating or anything, but the friendship is getting a little homoerotic and I'm scared of intimacy. Get more homoerotic. Pounds monster at 9 p.m. Why can't I ever sleep at night? <laughs> Wait, I made the drink like good. Hey, can I come over and stare at you like this? Wow. People born in 24 are like 2000 now. It's crazy, right? Yeah, sorry about your boyfriend. Yeah, we tried to activate his effect and he got negated by a hand trap. Yeah, yeah, he got sent to the graveyard. We tried to get him out, but they chained call by the grave. He got banished. Sorry. I love Bohemian Rhapsody, especially that part when Freddy Venus says it's Fandango time and then he frays all over the place. Ooh, Tumblr didn't like that one. You, you have issues. <gasps> you noticed. Has anyone else noticed music? This stuff's pretty insane. Hang on, let me check this out. Holy shit. Um, uh, I don't have any tinnitus. I have an angel who lives in my blood and she likes to sing for me. Okay. One time I dreamt in a PMC more video, he read a post that said, all my friends call me Polnareff with the image of Polnareff from Jojo and started laughing hysterically. All my friends call me Polnareff. <laughs> Dragon boyfriend that takes you to his cave, picks you up, then lays you on his pile of gold and jewels and says, You're his greatest treasure. Then he fucks you? And then he fucks you. Yeah! Growing up with autism, the story of the ugly duckling really resonated with me. For I, too, was ostracized by my peers because I like to honk and bite people. <laughs> I installed Skyrim on the pit boy in Fallout 4. It's what Hod Towered would have wanted. I don't know what to say. I'm at a... I'm at a... <laughs> I'm at a loss for words! Human, I do not understand why your science fiction always depicts spaceships fighting at insanely close to range. What do you mean? I mean, even your real-world military vessels have sufficient sensor technology to fight well beyond such distances. And in space, you need not worry about a horizon interfering with those sensors. Surely a species as... militaristically creative as yours would have realized that spaceships broadsiding each other at distances less than their own length is absurd. I mean, I guess, but if the ships are too far apart to see each other, how are you supposed to fit them on the screen? I mean, if you can't see what's going on, it's not very interesting, is it? That is the most intelligent and reasonable answer to any question I have ever asked you. 
Either that or I've gotten dumber. Human, what are you giving that child? Oh, it's a, it's a Nerf gun. You're giving a child a weapon of war? No, 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 no. It's a toy gun that fires small, near-harmless foam darts. Children use it all the time in Nerf Wars. Children simulate warfare for entertainment? Let me... Let me never introduce you to video games. What's with this so-called Blorbo? Oh, it's basically a fictional character that someone really likes. Sometimes a bit much. And what happens if they like this character too much? This... There's not a good answer. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Human, I have a question. Sure, go ahead. So I've been doing some research here and there, and I keep coming across mentions of Neanderthals. What are they? Oh, those guys. Uh, so, uh, picture a human. Okay. Now add more muscle and hair. Okay. And then picture them living in smaller groups than you've seen humans living in. All while being shorter than us, too. Okay. And that's practically it. They were essentially another intelligent species before going extinct. <sighs> Let me guess, you humans wiped them out with your aggressive nature. Actually, there's been some evidence that they and humanity interbred with each other, becoming one species instead of two. How is that even possible if the two species were separate species, plus the lack of technology to allow such hybrids to occur? Well, remember how I said Neanderthals were basically smaller and hairier humans? Yes. That's because humans and Neanderthals were very closely related to each other, to be able to have children that were able to make more children of their own. Fascinating. Now, what was that part about technology allowing two separate species to have children with each other? I don't think that'd be a wise decision on my part, human. I've seen the Vaporeon meme. Human, what are you doing with our alcoholic drink? Pouring one out for the homies. The homies? Well, not everyone who can make it here tonight is here, but they still deserve a drink. So you're pouring it onto the ground? Does this have anything to do with that crabs in a bucket turn of phrase? Maybe a little, now that I think about it. Human Mark, do you know why Human David is screaming while working? Oh, he gets like that whenever something complicated turns up. Like the wiring and some major component is being stubborn. I can only assume that this is unhealthy behavior. Does it not sound like he's having what you humans would call a good time? Oh yeah, no, he isn't. He'll likely be unavailable for a while after he's done. Is there anything I can do to help him from this state of distress? No, not... Typically, just let the poor man rest. You son of a- Okay, maybe get whoever designed all this to make the electrical connections less complicated, if at the very least to save others from David's agony. Alright, I'll see what I can do. And maybe get human David the wiring layout binders. Yeah, he'd probably appreciate that. Why is your furniture covered in dirt? It's- it's dust. I just haven't cleaned up today. Today? You have to clean it every day? Well, why is there so much dust? It's... dead skin. What? Humans constantly shed dead skin. The dust has just built up skin cells. Ew, ew, I need disinfectant. Ew, why is it stuck on me? And then he died. What? where am I? Okay, let's get this start. Oh, you're not the usual intern. What? You're hired. I'm just kidding, he's not dead. Or am I? Nah, he's okay. Who oh boy, got both vertigo and tinnitus at the club, a double whammy. I stood completely still in the center of the room. And that's why you're my browser of choice. <gasps> Studies have shown that it do be like that sometimes. Happy birthday. I disrespect the grind. The only grind I respect is, <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. We used to have normalized WUMP. Remember what they took from you. Back in my day, you could write about the most sickeningly vile, atrocious war crimes happening to your Blorbo, and everyone's like, Yeah! They just got it. They understood. Nowadays, you can't even write villains as villains without making it seem like you support the villains as things that they do. What did you expect? Become ungovernable. Look at him. He's at peace. Do I live in fear that one of my original posts breach containment? Or it reaches a wide variety of people? Nope, because I'm not popular. <laughs> I'm gonna send it to the funny man out of spite. 
No, no, no. He ain't gonna read it. He ain't gonna read it. Oh, call me a weird-ass social media site because I read it. I know how people's interpretation of Odysseus and Athena's relationship is somewhat toxic, but parental. But I like to think of him as their weird pet. Frog saved from high school dissection. How will I be able to go about my day normally after reading this? Why is it right? I hate the open floor plan that everyone is obsessed with in houses now. I want nooks and crannies and bizarre floor plans. I don't need to be able to see what someone is doing on the other side of the house. I want places to hide and lurk and dwell in the shadows. I am the beast who awaits in the labyrinth. Stop renovating old weird houses into white hotel lobbies for God's sakes. And seriously, please stop painting walls white. It hurts my brain. To the people who got into Homestuck during the pandemic, congratulations, you understood the assignment. So, it's the month of May, huh? <laughs> well, if you replace the M in May with G, well, you may be surprised at what you find. Gump? Wait. The problem with autism is sometimes you want to do something brave, but you need someone gently to walk you through each step so you know what will happen. And people don't like doing that. I love working in a lab because they give you a sheet of paper with carefully listed steps and shout, Go, science girl, go! Worst part is the omnipresent fear that there are secret instructions that everyone knows but you, and if you don't do them, it will explode and kill you. Why am I almost 20? Who allowed that to happen? Oh, wait till you're 30. I would do absolutely anything for my friends. Except answer their text messages. You came back wrong, and I am racked with guilt, because I cannot bear to see you like this, and I should have let you rest. I loved you so much that I defied death itself, but I do not think either of us are happy. This is what microwaving leftover pizza feels like. Stop it! I was trying to be gothic! <laughs> Get him, boys. The two large bodyguards next to me do not move. Boys, come on, please! One time I dreamt, a random old lady walked up to me and asked if I was autistic. I told her I wasn't sure, and she said, Would you like to be? This hawk came into my house this morning and made a complete fool of himself. That face says, Don't look at me. It's not funny. I think we should remind musicians that they can absolutely make up little stories for their songs, by the way. It doesn't have to be about them at all. You can invent a guy and put him in situations to music. It's a time-honored tradition, in fact. Just, just do it. It's Friday. Wait, it's Monday. Post horse mouth, bird. <laughs> Ned, how do I remove him from my memory? You can't. He lives there now. Sorry. They said it couldn't be done. Half bird. Half lemon. Half Orb. I present to you today, fellow scientist, the Lemorb. Look at spin, woo! It's a magical time of the year where there's another plush campaign. Let's go! All of you know the rules for makeshift right now. You get us to 200 sales, it'd be guaranteed plush for everyone who put the money down. If we don't get it, don't worry, you get your money back. There's no stress at all at losing anything out of this. Except maybe the sweet embrace of a lamb orb in your hands. He also comes with little buddies. Look at the... Look at those guys. You love those guys. I know you do. So head on over to the link attached in the description or the pinned comment and go get yourself a sweet little baby boy today. There is a phrase that has been uttered countless times. History is doomed to repeat itself, such as life in general, wouldn't one say. An endless cycle of life, growth, 
decline, and death. To the common man, this is just a foreseen but mostly accepted way of the world. But what if one was aware that a land was caught in an endless cycle of conflict, establishment, peace, chaos, and ruin, and that even cycle after cycle after cycle after cycle after cycle, the lands got worse, all thanks to the divine prank laid out by the three goddesses, Din, Feror, and Nehru. My name is Ayabe, an overseer of the world, a humble traveler of maskly wares, and witness of ill fates. This is the legend of not just Zelda, the hero or demise, but of Hyrule and its spiraling cycle of decay. Ha, 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 ha.